Now, Kenya has officially started national performance trials on genetically modified cotton in Kibos in the county of Kisumu. This is after the National Environment Management Authority, NEMA, approved the test two weeks ago. The test will be con conducted in five counties over the next few months and cotton farmers will be able to access the genetically modified seeds next year if the tests go well. Oko Kusa now joins us live from Kibos where the first genetically modified cotton seeds have just gone into the ground. Okusa, give us a brief of what has happened. Yes, Dan, what uh, is happening, actually you can see in the background that uh, there are some farmers busy uh, putting in the seeds into the soil. We are informed that uh, this will take between uh, five to seven days before they germinate and you'll see them sprouting up. So of course, farmers here and researchers are excited about uh, this latest move. Uh, from here in Kibos, they'll be moving to Alupe in Teso, that is in Busia County, before they head to Rift Valley and of course, at the end of it all, they plan to cover a total of seven sites scattered across five counties that we've just mentioned there. Remember, this has been a very long journey to okay this particular field trials. Uh, the National Biosafety Authority had to give NEMA an okay to go ahead and conduct, uh, and collect, and conduct an EIA, that is uh, um, Environmental Impact Assessment Test, uh, that ended in May last year after NEMA gave... Uh, the members of the public 30 days to to give their views regarding this uh, GMO cotton and that uh, has happened as you mentioned there of course and uh, the license was awarded to Calro. Calro is the is Kenya Agricultural Livestock and Research Organization and therefore these field trials have kicked off here in Kisumu today and uh, bringing in a lot of expectations of course in this industry which collapsed uh, somewhere in the 90s after a raft of issues came up. Of course, you remember that uh, the one of the reasons that have actually been um, uh, cited as, uh, I mean, caused the collapse is uh, li the liberalization of the industry after the government okayed the importation of second-hand clothes. And uh, of course, there were other issues to do with mismanagement and uh, what uh, uh, farmers uh, or, or officials of uh, in this experts in this industry describe as. Um, uh, bad policies. So this is uh, a good, a, a serious relief for cotton farmers in this region and uh, we'll be expecting uh, uh, a lot of excitement uh, after these field trials have ended and of course we know that currently as we speak Kenya is uh, yet to, 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 to tap the, in, in the, in the, in the uh, US market uh, of, of, of cotton that is under AGOA and uh, therefore we, we, with these trials if they succeed we expect that even the production of cotton in the country is going to go up. Uh, we are currently talking of uh, 30,000 bales annually, but uh, we, we are told that Kenya has the potential to do up to 368,000 annually. So there are a lot of expectations here, Dan, and uh, just uh, we will be here actually up to the end and we'll keep you updated with uh, the progress, Dan. Thank you very much, Oko Kusa, coming to us from the county of Kisumu uh, in, in regards to the GMO trials for cotton. And like he's mentioned, that uh, Kenya is about about a tenth of its capacity in terms of producing cotton, in terms of what is being tested here, saying that the 30,000 bills can be produced annually, but the capacity we have is over 360,000 uh, bills. That's the capacity we have annually, which would go, would go to boosting the uh, the livelihoods of the cotton farmers who have been un under a lot of stress over the number past number of years because of the inability to produce their, 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 their crop, and their, which would then turn into money and resource for them. And so we, we shall be having Okokusa following that up for us as we get to see the plight of the cotton farmer getting some shape and promise coming to it.